Hello there, it's only me, Pete's Rigs and Tips YouTube channel. Here we go. Yesterday on the PL, I told you I'd make sure how to make a bomber rig, so that's what I'm going to do now. Show you how to make a bomber rig. It was on the PL yesterday, so I'll just show you the components first. So, the components we have here we have 60 pound shock leader for the body, a 30 pound amnesia for the hook snoods, crimps. Uh, two Aberdeen hooks we have a size 2 swivel a size 6 swivel which you'll need two of five crimps and five beads and a weight link and an impact shield I use the impact shields because I think they're good I don't use anything else other people don't like them some people don't like them the impact shields but I do so yeah so I've already cut the length but what I've done is see there that's what I use for my rig body now. Right, what I did was I put that there to my nose, turn my nose out, and that's the length of your rig body. To your nose, and then stretch your arm out, and that's as much as you need. Or you can make it longer, it's entirely up to you. So we get the size 2 swivel, like so. Tie it on, you can see me tying it on there. I know the camera angle's not very good, but I can't do anything else because it's a phone. So there you go, tie that on. It's all tight, see? Nice knot. Trim the tag end. I had a dogfish on this rig yesterday, well a couple of dogfish. So now what you do is, you slide one of the beads on. Bead. Sorry, I did that before. Uh, crimp first, sorry. You know, I'm not a professional, so so there's the crimp. One crimp. Bead. Swivel. And the swivel on. Another bead. Get it on. Bead. Another crimp. Right, so you put the crimp on. You want another crimp. If I can get hold of it. Another crimp. That's on. Yep. And a bead. Just a minute. Swivel. Another swivel. Another swivel. Another size six swivel. Bead, the bead, another crimp, now put another crimp on, this will be the stop for the bait clip. Another crimp, and I put another bead on. Just to cushion the crimp, the bead for the bait clip. There you go. Now, the impact shield. Remember, the impact shield goes that way. Right. So that's the impact shield, and then when you've got a, you've got there's a little rubber bit there that goes on the line. It threads over your impact shield. Like so, yeah. So move up and down the line as you want it to, yeah. And you make. Well, I'll show you how to do that. Then next, 
as you make clip and remember guys what I said earlier in the earlier videos make sure it goes on that way because that little bar there stops the weight going up either side turn that on Side that on. There we go. So we step that now. Right. So what you've got, right? This is your rig setup, right? So you've got a size two swivel. You've got a crimp, bead, bead, crimp, crimp, bead, bead, crimp crimp yeah so what I do now is I crimp the first one there just slightly I always crimp them in the middle I don't some people put two crimps in and crimp it just a tiny bit so it doesn't move just try it if it moves just crimp it a little bit more that's not going anywhere right now what I do is see that well just leave a little gap so that so that you don't want to see that it won't move so you pull the crimp a little bit so you you swivel or swing round the beads yeah and then you can crimp that right so that's crimped now so what I do is I tie me first me first snood on onto the first crimp onto the first bead yeah it's thirty pound. You can use twenty pound or twenty five. I use thirty. Amnesia. Player amnesia. Always remember to wet your knots. So that's that. So now you want to measure that down to you so you get the yeah this is your bomb this is your first one so you so yeah that's your big long snood and it's down to there and I'll cut that about there right see I'll cut it just short there of the bait clip about there because you're going to put a knot in it and then you've got the hook haven't you and you want the hook to go in that bait clip it does take a bit of guesswork it doesn't matter how far up your bait clip is so we do that yeah so then we tie the hook on so there it is i've cut it right yeah so there's your snood on the first one yeah i've cut that see how short it is just there and there so we tie the hook on now. Yeah. So remember when you tie the hook on it's going to be even shorter. But it's not that short. So there you go. There's your knot. And here's a good tip for you guys as well. Just listening. When you've got a hook. Like that. And you're going to tighten it up. If you put it on your thumb like that see your nail protects when you put it there see it's not tightened so it's on your nail you tighten it up and there you go all tight and you haven't hurt yourself so there you go just a little tip from me and as well 
here's another tip you see that tag end you can see it there you can cut that right off if you want but here's a little tip if you cut it just a little bit short if you want to and you leave that like that when you thread the bait on that will keep your bait up here instead of sliding back down the hook your bait because sometimes you know when you put your lug worm on and then um, when you're reeled in it's all down here all bunched up if you haven't had a fish but this if you thread it up it will go up like that and it will stop your bait the bait that's up the line from sliding back down your hook it's just a little tip you can use it or not uh, I do sometimes not always so right so we've done that so I will connect the hook now to the bait clip like so yeah so now that's it see that's that's there now right see that's clipped up right okay so now I'm going to clip that into place but I'm not going to clip it so but what I do is I, I clip it there right so I'll, I'll crimp it there where the hook fitted so if you can see that for the first one see so that, that that's it it's stretched out and it's pulled it down right you can have it a bit slacker if you want but there it's pulled down yeah so I'll crimp that I'll put that into place there now see right so let's crimp that and we'll crimp that into place a couple of crimps right so that's done now now you're wondering how do you get the other hook link to link onto the other one ah well there's a sneaky trick right what I do is I fold the line in half so I folded it in half there see so you've got the bait clip next to the link and then I slide that up so I know that hook snoo is going to be half the length of the other one from there to there that's half that so what I do is I just slightly crimp it the bottom one so it moves up and down yeah see just so it moves up and down and I'll show you the reason for that in a minute right so now we get your other hook link and we measure that from the from the second swivel down to the bait clip which is There, see. So, right. So I'm going to cut that at that length. So that's the length of the other hook snood. So now we'll attach this to the other swivel, which is there. And remember, I've only crimped that a little bit, so it'll move just to hold it in place. So tie that on remember guys whichever knot you want it doesn't matter whatever you're comfortable with I use this knot there you go all tied up Nice and neat. Trim the tag end off. There you go. So 
So now we tie the hook on. Ties to Aberdeen. Tie that off. Right, there you go. Same again as the other one. And what I said, hook over the nail. See, all tied up. See, uh, no damage to my hands. There you go. So now I'll show you why I didn't crimp that up tight. Because now, what you're going to do is you're going to hook it all up and get the right distance for that hook. And the other one. So there you go. So there's the first one. So we'll put that first one in. Yeah, so that's that. So what we'll do, put the second one in now and see where you want it to sit. And then we can crimp it up a bit tighter. Right. So I've put the two in now into the bait clip and then we go up the line slowly see so that clip there that needs to slide up a little bit See, so I've slid it up to there, and that's about right. Just a little bit more, maybe. So I'll come down the line, just slide it up so it's tight. Yeah, so they're both level now. See, so what you do is now you slide that other crimp down with the bead, and we crimp it up. And remember, you want that just loose so it swings round. You can't do it now. Let's see, so I'll crimp that up. So I'm going to crimp that into place now, just away from the bead. Two crimps. I can crimp that tighter now. So that won't move now. Solid, and that one's solid. So, I've got a weight here. With a bait clip, we'll attach the weight. So there's the weight. So that's to your line. That's to your line. So you've got the two hook snoods. Bring them down. Tucking them under the bait clip. There you go. There you are. So you've got a size two swivel crimp bead swivel bead crimp. It goes down. And then halfway down, you've got a crimp bead swivel bead crimp. You're going further down than that. And then you've got a crimp bead and the bait clip. And then it's all hooked up. And that's the bomber rig, guys. And then that sets like that. And then that hits the water or releases. So there you go.
and that's the bomber rig so thanks for watching give it a like and please comment if you like this video and please like it cheers guys thanks i hope that was help you can always pm me for any advice on rig making